Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the heap data structure. I'm going to explain what it is, how to create a heap from an array, and then I'm going to give you a code example of all of the algorithms we're going to implement. So first of all, what is a heap? Well, essentially a heap is a tree-like structure in which every child is smaller than its parent. And what does this mean in practical terms? Well, first of all, it means that the top of the heap, which is called the root, is the largest element in the heap. And it also means that as you go down in the heap, the elements get smaller and smaller. Now, a couple of technical terms before I actually explain how to create a heap. First of all, each element of the heap is going to be called a node. So these are nodes. The root is a node, for example, and it has two children. It has nine as its left child and 14 as its right child. And then we also have elements that don't have children, and these are called the leaves of this heap. So let's learn how to turn this array into a heap data structure. We're going to use the heapify algorithm to do this. This is the core algorithm. And then we're also going to use the build heap, which is just basically calling heapify a bunch of times. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is grab this array and display its elements in a tree like structure from top to bottom and from left to right. So two is going to be at the root and then its children are going to be 16 and 12. And then their children are going to be 11, 15, seven and six. And then their children are going to be 10 and 20. And there are no more children. Now, this is obviously not a heap. So let's learn how to apply heapify to turn this into a heap. So heapify is a recursive algorithm, and we're going to start out at the lowest level in the heap in an element that is not a leaf. So in this case, we're going to start out at 11. Then we're going to compare 11 with its children, and we're going to find the largest child. If the largest child is greater than the parent, we're going to exchange those two. Now, 20 is obviously greater here than 11. So we're going to change those two. 11 is going to go here. 20 is going to go here. Now, 11 is at its new position. Does it have any children? No. So we can move on. We're going to go now to 16. Does it have a larger child? Yes, it does. 20. So we're going to exchange those two. Now, does 16 still have a larger child? No, it doesn't. So we're going to move on to two here. So two obviously has a larger child. We're going to exchange 20 and two. Now, does two still have a larger child? Well, yes, right? It's 16 and 15 are both larger than two. So we're going to have to reapply heap of pi to two. And we're actually going to pick 16 here, which is the largest. So we're going to exchange those two. Now, does two still have a larger child? Yes, yes, it does. We're going to pick the largest, which is 11, and we're going to exchange those two. And now, does two have a larger child? No, it is already in its correct position. And so we have created a heap successfully. So the heapify algorithm is the process of individually comparing each element with its children and exchanging if need to. And the build heap algorithm is going to do this for the nodes that needed to be done. So the end result of this array is going to be 20, 16, 12, 11, 15, 7, 6, and, and 2. So this is going to be the final result here. And this is how our array is going to be uh, displayed in the end. Now let's talk about a couple of more things. So first of all, given a certain node at index i, we know a couple of things about its parent and about its children. So the first is its parent is going to be at the position i plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. We also know that its left child is going to be at i times 2 plus 1. And we also know that its right child is going to be at the position i times 2 plus 2. And these are formulas that we know, right? We are certain of this and we can use this anytime we want. Now, this only works for zero indexed heaps. This means that the indexes start at zero and the root is at the index zero, okay? And the last thing I want to talk about before we get into the code is going to be the time complexity. So first of all, heapify. 
the time complexity of this is going to be log of n, right? So to put each element in its correct position, we're going to have to go through, in the worst case, a branch, right? A, an arm of the tree. And so this is going to give us log of n. And then we have build heap. And the complexity of this is going to be n, which is the number of nodes that we have in our heap. So this combined is going to give us a complexity of O of n log of n in order to build a heap. And that is all I wanted to talk about for the explanation. Now let's get into the code. All right, so I'm here at VS Code, and let's actually apply the algorithms that we've learned. The first one I'm going to do is going to be heapify. This is going to take in our array, the heap size, which is really just the length of the array, and the index to which we're going to apply this algorithm. Now, in here, we need a couple of variables. I'm going to create a largest equal to i in the beginning, and a temporary variable for when we have to exchange. Then we need the children here of our node. I'm going to say that the left is going to be i times 2 plus 1, and the right is going to be i times 2 plus 2, like so. So that's going to be the left and the right index, and these formulas work for zero indexed heaps. Then I need to check which one of the children is the largest, because that's the one we're going to exchange with. So I'm going to say if left is smaller than or equal to the heap size minus one and the array at largest is smaller than the array at left, then I'm going to set the largest here to be the left. So basically what this means is if left is a valid index of our array, if it is smaller than or equal to heap size minus one and the array at largest is smaller than the array at left, then that means that the largest is the left, right? And we're actually going to do the same thing for right. So I'm actually just going to copy this, paste it, and I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to change here left to right, like so. So now largest is going to contain the largest child, right? Then I'm going to say if our largest is different than i, so if we've actually picked a child, if we have actually have a child that is larger than our parent, then we're going to exchange. So I'm going to say temp equals AI, then AI is going to be A at largest, oops, lar just like that. And then our A at largest is going to be our temp. All right, so we've exchanged. And now heapify is a recursive algorithm. So we're actually going to apply here heapify with the same array, same heap size. And now the new index is going to be largest like so. So that is the heapify algorithm. Now inside of our build heap, we're going to take in the array and the heap size. And in here, we're basically just going to apply the heapify algorithm for uh, a bunch of nodes. So I'm going to say for int i is equal, and we're going to start this at heap size divided by 2 minus 1. Then i is greater than minus 1 and i minus minus. So we're going to start at this index, and this is going to exclude the least because we don't want to apply heap phi to those. And it's going to decrease i until minus 1. We're just going to apply here our heapify algorithm to the array with the heap size and with the node i. So that actually concludes the code for the build heap. Let's actually apply this down here. I'm going to say that int uh, heap size is going to be the size of the array. In this case, it's n. And then I'm going to apply heapify, uh, sorry, not heapify, uh, I'm going to apply build heap like so to our array with our heap size. And then we have a for loop here, which is going to output the array. And I'm actually going to run this, I'm going to pull this up. And as you can see, now we have the root here at the first index and then the rest of the heap. And this is actually the same as the explanation that I did manually. So that is the build heap algorithm. That is how you construct a heap with code. And in the next video, we're actually going to use this to construct the heap sort algorithm. All right. So that is all I wanted to show you today. If this video was helpful and valuable to you, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.